there are so many there are so many happenings which have been narrated in the in the lives of the companions of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam showing and exhibiting and demonstrating the love and the obedience they used to exhibit and demonstrate in their lives one day a companion was waiting outside the mosque for prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to come out and he was standing and when prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam came out he asked him that when will be the day of resurrection and when will be the doomsday or the day of qiyamah prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam smiled and then he said it looks as if you've made a lot of complete preparation for the day and he said i don't claim that i have made an elaborate preparation for the day of resurrection but there's one claim that i can clearly make is that i love allah and his messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said then you shall be with those whom you love in jannah you will be with those whom you love another companion came over to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and asked that there is only an issue which just keeps on disturbing me and the first issue is that i don't know whether i will be i will be able to enter jannah or not but what disturbs me is that even if i get if i get in jannah and if i enter in jannah then you will be in one of the highest ranks of jannah and here in this world when i miss you i come running i see you and i refresh my soul and i cool my eyes and i get contentment of my soul but what will i do there prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam promised him look you shall be with those whom you love allahumma ja'alna minhum another companion lost his sight in a battle and his friends and his relatives came over to um, to console him and to sympathize with him and he said oh my brothers i have no regret to have lost my sight you know i have seen i have seen a lot of this world i have seen the beauties and the colors and everything of the life the only thing which makes me upset is that i will no longer be able to see prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the coolness of my eyes i will be i will be deprived of the sight of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam this was the love of the companions for the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and then there is na- a very interesting narration of hazrat usaid bin khuzair radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu in bukhari he says that there were two things which i loved the most the two things which i loved the most was the two sources of guidance for me the sources of guidance towards the road or towards the path of jannah these two were prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the book of allah and out of sheer love of two what he did and how he behaved he narrates himself he says <coughs> that i loved the book of allah so much that i used to keep on reciting it wherever i was allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had gifted him uh, with a very melodious voice and to be grateful of this gift of allah he used to do what that wherever he used to be sitting he used to keep on reciting the verses of the quran loudly and then he explains his experience in bukhari that one night he was sitting in his courtyard under the sky of uh, at the night and he said that i cited i was reciting surah al-baqara in the love of quran i was loudly reciting the su- verses of surah al-baqara and he said that i realized that my horse would start jumping when i used to start reciting and then when i stopped to look at him he would stop jumping and then again when i used to start or resume my recitation of surah al-baqara he would again start jumping he said that the horse was tied and it was very close to the place where my son was sleeping and i feared that he might just step over my son so i got up and i thought of uh, tying him away slightly away and in the meantime he said that i got a glimpse of the sky and there i saw that in the sky i saw that there was a brilliant a brilliant shiny and a beautiful cloud overhead 
and there were beautiful lamps or chandeliers hanging from the cloud. And then as I was looking at it, it started rising higher and higher and then it ultimately disappeared. And Hazrat Usaid bin Khudair radiallahu ta'ala who said that when I came to meet the Prophet sallallahu in the morning, I narrated the whole event. And then the Prophet sallallahu said, Usaid, do you know what was this all? He said, Usaid, these were the angels. These were the angels of the heaven who were descending, who were descending to listen to your recitation. And if you had continued reciting the verses of the Quran, they would have landed on the earth and even we would have seen them. So this was the love of the companions for the Prophet And then Hazrat Usaid bin Khudair radiallahu ta'ala and who says that I also intensely loved the Prophet sallallahu <coughs> I intensely loved the Prophet Sallallahu and because of this love, he said that I had an intense desire of kissing the body of my beloved Prophet Sallallahu So now he says that one day I was sitting in a gathering and people and uh, of the companions and Prophet Sallallahu came and uh, he out of love and he out of uh, friendly behavior he very intimately pinched pinched me on my on my back under my arm and then i immediately said sort of like complaining i said that prophet islam it has hurt me and then prophet islam out of his humbleness out of his love and out of his intimacy and how just he was Prophet Sallallahu immediately offered, okay, if I hurt you, you go ahead and you pinch me as well. And then Hazrat Usaid bin Khudair radiallahu ta'ala and who said that I, I told him that you pinched me on my bare back and now you are wearing your shirt. And hearing this, he said, the Prophet Sallallahu he readily, he immediately raised his shirt from his back. And then, and then Hazrat Usaid radiallahu ta'ala and who said, that I got my lifetime chance, my golden chance. And I immediately hugged the Prophet ﷺ his back and I kissed him and I kissed him to all my desires. So these were the companions. They believed in him. They intensely loved him. They respected him. They regarded him from the core of their heart. But this was not all. They obeyed him. They obeyed him, totally surrendering, totally submitting in all manners, in all fields of life and in all spheres of life, totally accepting the code of life, the mode of ethics taught and brought by the beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. 